Good morning. This month is offer for 23rd March, Monday of the full week of the land. This month is offer for the birthday of Alinda and the Ocampo, and also for the souls of John Trujillo. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. the Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my thoughts, through my thoughts, through my most grievous thoughts. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who renewed the world through mystery beyond all telling, grant we pray that your church may be guided by your eternal design and not be deprived of your help in this present age. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Lo, I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind. Instead, there shall always be rejoicing and happiness in what I create. For I create Jerusalem to be a joy, and its people to be a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and exult in my people. No longer shall the sound of weeping be heard there, or the sound of crying. No longer shall there be in it an infant who lives but a few days, or an old man who does not round out his full lifetime. He dies a mere youth who reaches but a hundred years, and he who fails of a hundred shall be thought accursed. They shall live in the houses they build and eat the fruit of the vineyards they plant. The word of the Lord Thanks be to God. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime. His goodwill at nightfall weeping enters in, but with the dawn, Rejoicing. I will, I will praise, praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You changed my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. I will, I will praise, praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Seek good and not evil, so that you may live, and the Lord will be with you. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus left Samaria for Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place. When he came into Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him. Since they had seen all he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for they themselves had gone to the feast. Then he returned to Canaan in Galilee, where he had made the water wine. Now there was a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and asked him to come down, and he, his son, who was near death. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, You may go, your son will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and left. While the man was on his way back, his lips met him and told him that his wife would leave. He asked them when he began to recover. They told him, the fever left him yesterday, about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just at the time, Jesus had said to him, your son will live. And he and his whole household came to believe. Now this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. A few months ago, Monsignor and I went to visit a patient in Kaisa Hospital. She was a parishioner from St. John Mary Vianney Parish. She was suffering from terminal stage of pancreatic cancer and was dying. Even though she was suffering from great pain, she welcomed us with great smile and we felt peace and serenity in her presence. And the patient told Monsignor, Father, I am very peaceful. I know God loves me very much. He has been giving me many blessings throughout my life. If he wants to call me home, I am ready to go. What a pain and trust and peace in her heart. Where did pain in spite of this pain, where did peace come from? The peace came from our Lord who lives in her heart. In today's responsorial psalm, taken from Psalm 30, we said, I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. And we heard again from the Psalms, Forever, O Lord my God, I will give thanks to you. This forever mean good time and good bad time. In bad time also, we give thanks to the Lord. We believe and have confidence in His promises. Love of God can be learned only through our experiences. It can come only, it can come also through others. In today's gospel, the rural official came to Jesus and asked the healing for his son who was sick. 
And because of his intercession and his belief, Jesus performed the work of mercy for his son. St. John tells us that he believed what Jesus said, and Jesus cured his son. This is our Christian life. We believe what Jesus said, and we believe in his promises. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even though he dies, he will live. And again he said, whoever lives and believes in me will not die forever. Jesus gave us his assurance and promises about life. This life has been given to us and we are created for eternal life. During this difficult time, let us keep our prayer as the man in the gospel did for his son. It may not be our sons who are sick, but we all are brothers and sisters. So let us keep on praying for those who are sick from coronavirus and for those who are taking care of them. May our Lord give protection, healing, and peace to all our people. Jesus has told us that whatever we ask the Father in his name will be granted. Let us bring our knees before God. For Pope Francis and the leaders of the church, may they be filled with the Spirit of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For civil leaders, may they be strengthened and guided by the Holy Spirit in this time of, time of virus pandemic so that they may be able to save and protect people with wisdom and courage. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all peacemakers, may they be strengthened in their efforts to bring God's love and harmony into our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the healing of coronavirus patients, for the safety of healthcare workers and the people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who are seeking God, but do not know where to find Him, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those who have died, especially for John Trujillo, for whom this Mass is being offered, may the law of life welcome them to paradise. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Loving God, you have blessed us with your abundant gifts. May the body of Christ give you praise, and may we always give thanks for your saving action in our lives. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through our divine and work of human hands, it will become for our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, 
brethren, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. May we receive, O Lord, we pray, the effects of this offering dedicated to you, so that we may be cleansed from all earthly ways and be renewed by growth and heavenly life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sabah was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim you are dead, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, found the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the signs of peace. Lamb of God, we you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my, my roof, but I only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May your holy gifts, O Lord, we pray, give us life by making us new and by sanctifying us, lead us to things eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying God with your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.